What's up guys? Subscribe for new content and gear reviews. If you're shopping for new gear, check out the links below for my recommendations from top retailers. You guys, Pelican makes some awesome cases. They also make some awesome coolers. I've got here their 20 quart and their eight quart. This is more of a personal, uh, like a daily lunch box where this might be like an overnight box cooler. I've been looking at those roto molded coolers for so long now. It's nice to see something different from Pelican here. Their bigger coolers are still roto, roto molded. Man, that's a hard word to say. Um, but these are designed more like their cases with that super hard plastic on the outside. Uh, and then you can see it's a dual compound here, two different layers, and then the insulation sandwiched in between. I found through using this the last uh, couple months that it performs just as well as the roto molded coolers as far as ice retention, keeping things cool. It is a slightly thinner wall on the side of these uh, than some of those roto molded coolers, but for overnight stuff, camping, um, 80, 90 degree weather, haven't had any issues with it. And I just love how overbuilt these are from Pelican. You know, they've got this huge metal piece here for the lock, uh, the nice rubber gasket uh, to make a good seal around the top. You've got these little tie down anchors as well. You know, I like throwing this on a paddle board and being able to sit on top of it. Uh, on the top, you've got some can holders here. And this is probably one of my favorite features on this cooler is just these latches. You know, I'm sick of using those T-style rubber gaskets that are really hard to pull and undo when you're at an awkward angle. These, you just have a simple button to push and it clicks open, push it down, and it locks. Super easy to do with one hand. So this is great for holding a couple drinks, you know, some overnight food, hot dogs, things that you need to keep cold if you're going on an overnight camp out. This is great for uh, daily use. Uh, has some really cool features that I haven't seen before with other coolers. If you look at the top here, you can see that it's got this little button here. That opens up to a dry canister. So you can put, you know, smaller profile things up there, keep them totally dry, don't need to worry about those being cold. It's got that same style of latch, which is super easy to open. Then on the inside, it's got this built-in little ice pack, which is super nice to have. It's just about the perfect size for keeping, you know, a sandwich cold or something, but I found if I'm trying to keep a drink cold that's sitting down in the bottom, uh, doesn't quite keep that cold. So I usually will throw another ice pack or ice in the bottom of here to keep everything cool. Uh, but it is nice to have that super easy to attach, just twist on the top there. Also inside is a basket. You know, that's nice to keep things out of the ice if you have something in the bottom there. Then on the top here, you've got this handle that has a locking position on both of them. Super easy, it's not sticky or anything to move out of the way. Same with the small one, has a little locking position on top there. So this small cooler is rated at six to eight cans. I've got it loaded up here with eight cans. You can see there's still a little bit of room for ice. It's like they designed this for eight cans. I mean, it fits in there perfectly, allows for some ice. You can throw the basket on top there. There's still a tiny bit of room for ice on top there, but most likely if you're trying to keep those cold for a longer period of time, you just take the basket out and fill this all the way up with ice. Um, and I still can keep the cooler in there as well. So plenty of room for eight cans in there. So their 20 quart is rated for 15 cans, but I've got it loaded up here with 18 cans. So two rows um, down underneath and then there's still plenty of room for ice with that many cans in there. So I think they were being a little conservative there. Uh, I think there's plenty of room for ice. You can see up at the top here, there's almost room for another can, but just not quite. You know, I wouldn't want to force that down on top of the can. So you can see there is a slight little gap there. So you could still lay some more down on top and get even more in there with ice. Um, I think. And finally, looking at the bottom, you've got some rubber feet here, which make it great. You know, like I said, I like using this on a paddleboard so it keeps it from slipping around. Even in the bed of a truck or a back of a car is nice, but the smaller one does not have those rubber feet. 
overall, I'm super happy with the quality of these Pelican coolers. You know, they make great cases, been using those for years, and now they have these cool coolers that are super durable, uh, keep food cold for plenty of time that I'm out for two or three days at a time. Uh, ice retention's great on them. Uh, I do really like this smaller one for just those little outings where I want to keep a couple of cans with me nice and cold. So these are great options if you're looking at picking up a cooler that you know is going to last, backed by an awesome brand, I'd highly recommend them.